just like he couldn't give two shits what you guys are saying. No, he's taking all of it and yeah. we go home and cry about it. He's just like he's like no, let's he's just a musician, no. Let's just get on with it, please. When when he writes his songs about heartbreak and all, he's actually singing about us. About you guys, yeah, oh, okay. That's what's happening. Hey, welcome to Vartala. It's another episode, and uh, uh, this is how we usually start. We just start rolling because we don't believe in introductions or uh, extroductions. Uh, if that is such a thing, uh, with me today is uh, always, as always, my co-host Navin, because that's the whole point of this podcast. No way to go, no yeah, way to run. Yeah, and and with us is a is a another person who from our past is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like this season somehow is becoming one of those uh, seasons where uh, we're going into nostalgia, and for 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 good sake, yeah. you know, it's like a it's a great thing. Yeah, we don't call, want to call you older by any means. Shruti, no, not but, at all. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just that uh, you know like uh, Shararat was there then at a point in our life. Yeah, it was, and, uh, it was game yeah. changing. We'll talk yeah. more about that yeah. but welcome but, Shruti said to our yeah. podcast. Thank, Thank you. So much. Uh, it's called Vartha Lab and uh, we we know Shruti from uh, Shararat from Fana yeah. from hosting so many from cool shows from Rajniti. Yeah. Yes. You were in Slum Dog Millionaire. Yeah. Yes. What what's up with that? So we'll talk about all of that yeah. and uh, the the show's format is pretty simple. We we tell stories to each yeah. other. So First but, thing I just want to ask you guys to breathe a little. <laughs> Like catch your breath, guys. <laughs> We're just excited. We haven't seen each other uh, in a while since Diwali. Yeah. Before okay. Diwali, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get with the program, or you don't. I but used to think us VJs would talk a lot, but yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> You guys just yeah, take it to the recording. next level. So, yeah. I'm finding myself quiet <laughs> don't, in don't, a room for the yeah. first time. Then the fans will comment and say, "Ki why you not let the guest speak? So you speak yeah, now, okay?" Yeah. You just came back from vacation. Yes. Where was your vacation? In Kashmir. Oh, nice. Did you go to uh, Srinagar and all, or did you yes. go into the mountains? No. So I actually first went to Gulmarg. We yeah. went to this place called Afarwat, which is just like the top of the Himalayas. So you're Oof. literally yeah. at the top of the world. And uh, we were in Gulmarg for three days, and then Srinagar for three days, and now I'm utterly miserable to be back in Bombay. I don't blame you. I mean, it's definitely much nicer in yeah. Kashmir weather-wise. Yes, it's a, it's no, but yeah. uh, having said that, it's November, and I'm a Bombay child, so for me, it's winter. As you can see, I'm wearing a leather yeah, jacket. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, around, yeah, it's 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 winter for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the world laughs at me. They're like, "Oh wow, you have a winter wardrobe, is it?" <laughs> and oh my God, you also have boots. That's kind of cool. But yeah. you know now, if you're born in a in a city where the lowest temperature during winter is twenty two degrees, then yeah. you work upwards from there. So yeah, yeah. for me, twenty two degrees is really cold. Yeah. So yeah. I I have to layer up the way someone would layer up in two degrees. <laughs> it's relative. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like the co-creative director and me okay the mm-hmm. writer of the show so we are all in th- three of us in one car and we had this great driver called kumar okay kumar was the the shiz he was local yeah. he understood everything shout out to kumar kumar where which my name I'm sorry, I'm not from Bollywood. Uh, <laughs> 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 that didn't make any sense, but yeah, carry on. <laughs> Why? So, so, uh, so then, halfway to the right, we yeah. get stopped. Okay, and we realize how we've been stopped because there are dudes lying on the ground on the on the road. Okay. Like you know, there are not many cars passing through that part of Hampi. It's right. an archaeological, you know, wasteland, whatever. So it's just like we we have to like screech and stop because there's people lying on the road. Okay. Mm. and then immediately when the car stops they all across the car okay from all sides two of them are still standing in front three from this side three from this side and and all the windows go up immediately because yeah. they like what the fuck and uh, and then they're like then they're talking to him in kannada which i know because i am from yeah. karnataka but they're telling him ki like you don't give anything like, these guys will pay up okay and it's some local festival and they want to get money out of it, essentially for their little local daru uh-huh. or whatever scenes but i was fuming because i was like this is no way to do this you know like we've grown up in bombay people take chanda for certain things but there's a civil way of going about yeah. it but lying in front of the car and all so me being me at this that moment i was so pissed off i'm like chala do gaadi <laughs> <laughs> i just said that as uh-huh. a as a as a dark fucked up joke yeah. just to, like you know to the driver i'm like chala do who will miss them like you know who <laughs> So Guys, to answer your question on I how woke I was not told <laughs> I was not given fair warning about this show I'm not on this show Parish right now I'm on a phone shit. call <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone I'm not here Wait wait it gets better No <laughs> <laughs> I'm stopping your story right here please No I was angry about it but well, whatever we uh, uh, tomorrow when I was angry I just stabbed couple of people man come on I was just angry There's a there's different between doing it and saying it right? No <laughs> yes yes intention is everything I mean that's true also I mean, but the point was. No. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm done. I, I, my hatred was done. Then the showrunner, like just like you, they also came in and they were like, "Hey, stop it, Naveen. That's way mean a thing to say because yeah. we are here in their locality, you know, kind of like exploiting their whatever." And I said the same thing as you. I said, I'm "No, Kashmir, ja ke kya fayda hua? Agar hum pi jayenge to like we'll we are providing tourism, we are providing money to them indirectly, right? So that's a better way to go about it. So that was the whole model. Yeah, but you don't have to go. With the intention of offering tourism and then want to kill the people. <laughs> not not want to kill them just for the heck of being there, for coming in front of my car and stopping and harassing me and extorting me, money, and extorting from money to to religious matters. That's an okay. odd form of justice. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much a misanthrope, so it's okay if people die. I'm a very like I love animals, but people can go fuck themselves. Yeah. I think you have an understanding of who I am by now. Again, guys, <laughs> why didn't anyone warn me about this? Why should have heard a couple of episodes? But don't you have any like? like something that you would say that are not okay to say morality wise ever yeah i just think them i don't say them then then what but then that's also way? intent yeah. right like no. thinking it <laughs> <laughs> like is yeah, it thinking is, it also yeah, intent no. is literally it's, it's, it's right it's, now <laughs> i'm thinking i wish these two fuckers would shut up <laughs> am i saying it you are no? literally you are no. <laughs> did i say it no i thought it yeah i didn't hurt your feelings but, but you your don't know what, you don't know you don't know what i'm thinking right now So you're then. squirming in your seat. That's what, that's what I'm thinking right now. now. I'm not even here. I'm on a call with you guys from Kashmir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Where I'm promoting great, tourism. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And not wishing anybody dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not wish anybody dead. I you just... almost <laughs> wanted to kill them. You weren't wishing. You wanted I was, to be. I was activating the. <laughs> I was like premeditated. I was, I was pressing the red button. Uh, oh, but that's just, that's just me as a person. This will be a fun episode preview when it comes out. Like, oh, in this episode, Naveen is scolded <laughs> for, for being <laughs> for himself. Being Himself, yeah, for being like, a misanthrope. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, wh- why are you here then? Where? Here. Because I love people. No, that's not <laughs> what you just said. The that ones who come not, to our show, I love them. That is not what you said. No. You said animals. Yeah, people can go fuck them. Yeah, I, I can't I do podcast with animals. I wish I could yeah. do that. I think in this room he likes. But you can do a room. solo. Just be by yourself and keep that's talking. That's what, that's what I do. That's what my comedy show is called. It's a, it's called the Good Child because of that very reason. But I'm not the Good Child. I have all these horrible thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> you grew up in Mumbai. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, like? I'm the kind of guy who goes like, you know, <laughs> Jeffy Dog documentary is pretty interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like when Dexter came out, I was like, yeah, yeah I sense. like Dexter. Yeah, but See? I th- I think that's very this thing. Like What? true crime, cannot watch true crime. I love because I'm crime. like, dude, I saw loge dunya me. मेरे को रहने का ही नहीं already. अभी तो उसके साथ बैठ के podcast कर रहे हैं. So I don't know where the exits are to this place. How does one get out in case of? And he's of, in your way also. I don't know. Like. Yeah. Can you move over and sit with him? Where? 
That's right. No, no. <laughs> How do you feel homely then? <laughs> we can we can switch it between yeah, the. I'm, break. I'm suddenly feeling cornered. Listen, it's okay. Literally yeah, it's okay. and figuratively. To, to compensate speaking. for everything, I'm gay, so it's okay. Just like that. How does that help? Oh dear God! There are gay gay serial killers. Yeah, also. John Wayne Gacy. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm very inspired by him. He was a clown killer. You know what I'm saying? What? He, yeah, he was used to wear clown makeup and torture his victims. I, it doesn't help that I have a smile on my face. I'm yeah, saying it's not. <laughs> of this is rev- like these are revelations to me also, Navi. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And the, the more it's antagonizing people, like the more I'm doing yeah, it. If yeah. you don't realize that, yeah. Otherwise, it's fine. Otherwise, it's fine. Why would I take a life, man? It's too much. It's precious. <laughs> Yeah, then and, and Bombay, where do you even dump them? That's the problem. Like you know, <laughs> you the problem with body dump. <laughs> you have to go to Bombay. Navi Mumbai to dump them. Yeah, or you have to go to like Satara or something. <laughs> okay, I'm not here. I'm not here. I don't know okay, what the context of this show. Let's let's get off Navin for a bit and stop revealing his inner. That's why he's a dead body also. <laughs> <laughs> and come to come to you instead. Yeah. I feel like that's a safer uh, bet. But what would you uh, like? Do you like sunshine, rainbows, butterflies? Tell us. No. What was Gulbarg Kashmir? What area mm-hmm. in Bombay did you grow up in? In Andheri. How was that? Did you have family? That's as that dark was... as my life gets. I yeah. live in Andheri. <laughs> you still live in Andheri? Yes, I've lived oh, in man. Andheri my whole life. And I you've have... seen it go then from what it was to what it is. Yes. How different is it? Um. Uh, well, <laughs> in what aspect? I mean, I'm sure. If you're talking about a crowded. vibe, then it's just as dark as it was back in the day. And you know that meme of Simba with his dad pointing saying dad what's that and he says that's andheri we don't go there all that is true <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah that was jogeshwari actually no 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 it's andheri it's andheri <laughs> andheri that's yeah so i i i grew up in andheri mm. i studied in andheri then i went to college in town and then i was the at the receiving end of of course much derision and condescension Could and they were andheri. like Yeah, but they were I, like, "Where's that, Zavia's by also, the way?" No? So, I, I, yeah, so yeah. all my friends were townies, and yeah. they were like, "So, where exactly is it? Like, show it to us on a map." <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were like, "Oh, it's not even on our maps because our maps end at Worli Sea Face, and that time we didn't have the Worli ceiling, so no one even came yeah. beyond Worli. Now it's like the ceiling is the cut-off point." <laughs> but yeah, so I would go to college, and then. Whenever we made a plan to go out, they'd be like, "Dude, no one's going to pick up Shruti." So <laughs> I would then have to just either stay back in town or try and stay yeah. at a friend's house because no one ever came to Andheri. Yeah. And if they ever did manage, back in the day, we were allowed to drink and drive. So then they had to be really drunk. Mm-hmm. I don't think you were ever know. allowed to drink and drive. I mean, nobody. <laughs> okay, you were not penalized. <laughs> you were not. Uh, you were not uh, uh, held for any sort of. I like of how me killing people was criminal about activity. <laughs> driving drunk is okay, which is you killing yourself by driving drunk. Yeah, you you, are, you can kill yourself. Yeah. Go for it. Just don't kill other people. Yeah, you, you're, you're, it's your What's life. What's the point if I go alone? <laughs> no, no, I'm sure there are lots of misanthropes waiting for you <laughs> in hell. Go. In hell. Okay, now the concept of hell is coming into the picture. Now it's even funnier. Yeah, you want to yeah. be in like a dark. Yeah, I was a kinky devil. Trouble place. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there. Did you did you go to Sunlight a lot when you were in Xavier's? No. Was Sunlight the go-to bar then, or no. was it Kit Kat? No. Was there a go-to bar during no. your Xavier time? Yes. You were drinking called, in the car. It was here. called Ghetto. <laughs> it was called Ghetto. Oh, y'all used to go all the way to Ghetto. Oh, yeah. that's very interesting. It's gone now, no? No, Ghetto still no, no, there. No, it's still yeah. there. Yeah. Always, always. Ghetto still there. Yeah. Every so, now and then I pass by Ghetto to realize how old I am. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, why does it look st- decrepit then? That's what I'm it saying. It looked like that even then. Yeah. But, uh, that was the whole look yeah. of the place. It's, it's called the, a Ghetto. Yeah. Wow. That, that's racist. <laughs> that's racist. It's not a race. It's it's a it's the description of the place in the world. It's Ghetto is a gathering of people who live together. No. No. Like a, but it it's symbolized black. in a way that is not exactly looking fancy yeah, it's like and chol posh. In Bombay, yeah. Oh yeah, look who's being racist now. I'm from the chol. I'm from the chol 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 of Goli Bar, so I can say that. Also, based on the South Bombay people that you were talking about, like recently I did a party. I was telling you, uh-huh. and there was a gathering of South Bombay people that I was hosting a party for. And uh, one of them is. How did like, you know they were South Bombay people? Because <laughs> he asked them. No, because they Each were from. Person. No, I went to perform for a show in Worli. <laughs> That's where they found me, and then they called me, and then they introduced. Everybody was telling where they're living from. They're like, I'm from Pedder Road. I'm from Crawford. I'm from this area. So they all had like their their names. They had, had their, town addresses. Yeah, like yeah. I'm Manish Walkeshwar. Like, you know, like that's how they were introducing themselves. <laughs> nice. And if, if if there was any doubt that they were from South Bombay, the next sentence made it clear for me. I'm yeah. from South Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> no, because they said that uh, you know. No, it's also the accent. Bro. <laughs> like there's this like. Yeah, 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 man. Like these fucking poor people are all over the place, man. Like that's how they talk. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, one guy asked the other guy because they all meeting for the first time at this pool party. He's like, "What do you do?" He's like, "I raise slums and I build buildings over there." Okay, he just very casually said that he raises slums. Yeah. 
and and then somebody was like oh it's like the sra thing is like yeah it's like the sra thing one more guy is like oh yeah man like my plate was landing from bangalore and all i could see till the horizon was just lums man and yeah. one girl is like is dharavi is like what's dharavi and i'm like what the fuck dude how in your bubble are you that you don't know dharavi at all like the Parallel biggest parallel universe yeah dude. slum in asia <laughs> and you have no idea <laughs> So it was, and then like me who has lived in NSRA last two years, yeah. I was like uh, more, yeah, more. <laughs> so I'm like, what's it with the sunlight not happening in NSRA buildings? Why do you yeah. block it? So he's trying to explain to me how it's efficiency of space, but what he tries to say is that the rich people should not have to look at the poor people from their windows. That's what he was entirely hinting at, okay? Yeah. And I had a full trip. But so. I like that he was hinting and not saying directly. I mean, if you gave him two more pegs, he would have said that exact thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just, so nice. Time. Next time, yeah. call him to your show and <laughs> give him two pegs and. Make Make sure he says it. Yeah, so like <laughs> I went and did that. Like when I did the comedy part of it, I was just roasting all of them. I'm like the fact that a boy from Bayander is doing that to you, South Bombay fuckers. <laughs> it's such a poetic justice moment right now, you know. Just yeah. like reading them to filth. Amazing, yeah. I love it. <laughs> There was some South Indian Bollywood actress also who was just who was the main birthday boy's ex, okay? okay, and she was being cunty throughout by sitting in the front row and just like you know passing comments or whatever. So I'm doing an award show, okay? Essentially, it was award show and a roast night. Okay. So award show, which means she's like chiming in, and somewhere on the fourth or fifth award, she's like, you know, Navin, your jokes are not getting funny anymore. And I took a breath and I said, you know, I can see why you're the ex now at this point. <laughs> you know but what? One, one second, I, 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 I just want to get context. They had an award ceremony for themselves. For their yeah, friends, yeah, 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 for themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's how bougie South Bombay people are. They're like, oh, you know, Jaldi kya thi award, which is for the first person who had a baby in their group. You know, like entrepreneur of the year award. You don't know because, all this. This happens. This yeah, you're from Mandir. You know, so that's this what, is why you're not. They, a they, they never called you for these parties. That's what they were doing in their own little <laughs> cliques. They're culty. Oh my god. Culty and culty. So they, they 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 sit together and they give each other awards. Yeah, and, and was, then after that they roast each other. Also. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's, oh, nice. it's quite fascinating. They like to keep the balance, is it? Yeah. yeah, it was nice, and I was like in their middle, in the midst of all of this, facilitating all of yeah. this. You know, and you know the the weird part is they'll get an event company to manage this whole thing. So, oh like, there's an event. There's actually extra brains involved in this process. Unse khud se yeah, hai. one guy did the roast actually. Like, you know, I had to tell my boss that I'm taking a break from work because I have to RSVP you, to an event management mean, company. Did he mean dad? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this guy was a Muslim. He was the token guy in the entire group. Okay. Oh, yeah. acha for inclusivity. Yeah, <laughs> there was an entire Gujju South Bombay gang, and then there was this one Muslim boy who was yeah. a token Muslim, and and they, they made it obvious also. You know? Oh wow! They yeah. gave him an award. Nice. They gave him an award also <laughs> yeah. for being for being a minority. Yeah, he was like he was a to, he was a token Muslim. <laughs> Dal me kala. Yeah. The award. Oh, Poor wow. guy. He was the best to me. He was the nicest to me because oh. he realized that. You were also I'm, marginalized community. Yeah, I'm like a minority. I'm a Catholic gay, and you're Muslim. Straight. Come, let's friend. <laughs> Okay, so talking about like a really weird thing that uh, this I think tops the weirdest event I've ever heard of, but I've done quite a few in my life yeah. as well, which are very entertaining. Uh, one of them being, so again, I'm not going to take names, but there's this entire cartel okay. in Ooh. India, yeah, wow. yeah, of the Gutka types. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so there's a Gutka cartel. Of course, yeah. The mouth freshness guys. What are we calling them? Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, mouth sorry, sorry. Cut that. Yeah, yeah. Mouth freshness. Your mouth yeah. become fresher, and yes. then you want to kiss them. So amazing. So, yeah. so uh, they were there's supposedly these five tycoons, and they're all friends because it's so cool. Like you know, <laughs> let's all poison the entire population <laughs> yeah, together at the same time. Yeah. So every year, since they're so magnanimous and large-hearted, they all pool in like about. Two crores each, of course. and it's about a ten crore bounty. Wow! And then they take all their friends and family for an international holiday. That's nice. So it could be anywhere. Yeah. So this one very lucky year that I got to be a part of this <laughs> amazing event, they were taking their friends and family for a New Year cruise, uh, in the Far East. Mm. Not really Far East, but it was uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Thailand, yes. yeah. Beyond that, so the they ocean had falls. booked. The yeah. entire cruise liner because there wow. were some 200x plus 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 people yeah. who all boarded their planes from Delhi and uh, were the first time in their lives that Singapore Airlines had to allow boxes of mouth fresheners <laughs> yeah, yeah. to be taken as hand baggage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> boxes which would normally get checked in. And uh, when we got there, I was hosting uh, the, the offline version of uh, what was it called? Uh, Chappad Parke or some some TV show that okay. used to be. Was it Govinda? The one no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it was, it was. Uh, das Kadam. By by uh, by by Salman. Das Kadam. Das Kadam. Das Kadam. Das Kadam. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't Kitne pratishat baati hai. Yeah. So kitne pratishat baati ho nia. So kitne pratishat log yahan par they had of course drafted an entire segment and all of that. 
and so that aside i was like okay whatever is man like you know all in a day's work but the next morning when i was getting off the cruise liner and we were being taken on to land uh, there were some of the kids of the cartel <laughs> mm. <laughs> owners who future cartel yeah. yeah the baby cartels who were talking about hey kal raat ko yaar tune itni peeni na tune sare sheeshe tod diye i was just like what you're like hi yaar par wo wala bada mirror hai na beech mein wo nahi toota yaar wo aaj todenge oh fuck yeah so they basically Trashed vandalized the, yeah. the entire cruise liner oh shit uh, they were inside the the casinos and it was just it was like a free for all just like puchuk puchuk everywhere no no and because <laughs> because we paid for it we own it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you course. know imagine this dolphins are flying and you're just like aiming ki who yeah. can we kill with us yeah, yeah 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 true true oh true God, but this happens horrible. like whenever I, i i feel very out of place when i hang out with kids who are like third generation wealth or like fourth like you know old wealth because no no like, but it's not old wealth it's always the new guys i the old yeah. wealth weirdly enough that's what, they respect that they have have one, little, one foot in the in the that's what part was, and one foot that's what they, they are they, actually in their their bubble they they don't yeah. know that there is another way of experiencing life right so for them they're just very happy among they don't they don't intervene or try to grow go into unknown waters yeah, yeah. they're in their bubble no, they, they have a uh, in my experience they have like a, so the old wealth versus new wealth the one of the fundamental differences is that for old wealth everybody who's a service person in their life is an object who does service yeah. and just keep like distance from them and finish it off yeah. but for new wealth there's an almost a disdain yeah. for everybody else ki tu ameer nahi hai tu ameer nahi ho paya to tu chutiya rahega isliye tu ameer nahi ho paya so whenever i'm hearing these stories right old wealth stories will be like we went here we went in da 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 cool okay yeah, the stories i get new wealth stories are very terrifying because it always starts off with remember that time hum sab ne daru pe ke coke kar liya tha and i'm like wow matlab tere ko dono parwada ek raat mein then it goes on to like oh remember are wo to kuch nahi yaad hai wo raat wo apna dost usko er mein chhod ke aa gaye the then it's like one the third guy said are yaad hai us time maine do logo oh never mind ah. you know and it always gets to that point yeah yeah like one of these guys in the whole party one of them yeah. was mentioning ki like you know mere kain ke samne aage ek bandi i'm like what the fuck you just like talking it like yeah. it's like a matter of fact thing right it's great and, and and that's when i said like you know when is titanic when you need that to happen in that for example <laughs> but she was on it i don't want her to die she got off on the next day <laughs> they were still doing the glass the next yeah. day yeah you like, must have gotten to do so many of these peripheral random events right like as no no uh, there's uh, so the 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 funniest and most i would say actually not even funny they're just fascinating yeah uh you know you've kind of been in i would say dabbled a little bit in bollywood hmm. so you know what a film set is like right you know hmm. okay what goes into it and what it finally looks like and all of that yeah, and it's yeah. all make believe yeah, yeah. it's not even sequential <laughs> yeah, yeah. when i when i went to set and i'm like oh fuck they're shooting the climax now <laughs> when they're shooting the beginning and i'm like this is bullshit dude this is bullshit how yeah, can yeah. you feel this they, they keep yeah they yeah. mess with yeah. the with the matrix yeah, now all it, the time there's constant glitches but the funny thing is when it's been recreated for for wedding shows that's when it gets oh, really yeah. really really fascinating because i'm just like firstly it's amazing how much it influences people yeah uh, much to whatever be the the negative pr around it i don't think anything has the same kind of impact on a regular person the way films do yeah. and i i say this as being an actor yeah. even i'm just as influenced by film yeah. correct yeah and it's that it's that that club that everyone wants to be a part of in their own way so since yeah. we can't get into the actual club we'll make our own little yeah. bit of that yeah and there have been corporate events that have had bollywood nights wedding events that are only ye wala set bana do wo wala dress bana do ye sequence karenge and the funny part is again because they don't know how it's actually done yeah. when you're trying to recreate it lots of things end up becoming near fatal yeah so there <laughs> have been events where the dulhan wants to come down on a chandrama oh shit <laughs> in an or chandrama pe seat belt nahi lagaya koi in some obscure <laughs> town where there aren't the right kind of safety yeah. measures which are not even on our films for sure yeah. hum bhi apna ram bharose karte rehte hain so imagine when we do it ram bharose what must be happening yeah, yeah. there so 
I have seen accidents happen while I'm on stage presenting the bride yeah. and the chandrama has gone lopsided oh and no. the bride has fallen it's and new moon night now yes <laughs> and the husband has wanted ha, ha, wanted to come on a bike to bike pe aaye bike skid ho gaye gir gaye pad gaye yeah yeah and you have to kind of make it all look like ha huh, it's, it's okay it's okay everybody chali taaliyan taaliyan bajaiye taaliyan was your clapping for people who are having accidents and the funniest one that i did was uh, at a particular wedding i remember they had like a bird cage like a giant bird cage with a hydraulic disc okay and the bride and the groom had to do the rajmala mm, on yeah. that disc so they we we kind of invited everybody and said abhi whatever rajmala karenge and everything yeah, so yeah. the bride and groom got on the hydraulic went up so that everyone could get a clear view they did the rajmala and then the hydraulic got stuck <laughs> and they couldn't come back down oh shit now they're in a little bird cage dude they're just like little trap it's funny <laughs> it was it was so poetic right yeah, like you're yeah. in a ma- you're in a marriage like in a to... cage you're trapped together <laughs> And then we so it's our suddenly family <laughs> starts playing. No, now here's where the funny part comes yeah. in. So uh, uh, the the Put event guys right. come to me and they're like, "Ma'am, वो जो राजमाला हुई थी ना वो अटक गया है." So I, my natural instinct is to want to laugh, but I'm trying to be all professional. Yeah, अच्छा तो अब अब क्या करें? नहीं नहीं आप कुछ मत करिए वो इलेक्ट्रिशियन को बुलाए वो आ रहा है कुछ करने के लिए. अच्छा यहाँ पर इवेंट चल हाँ तो आप एक काम करिए आप अगला एक्ट अनाउंस कर दीजिए या डिस्ट्रैक्ट देम आई सेड पर दुल्हा दुल्हन ऊपर अटके हुए नहीं नहीं कोई बात नहीं नो बडी केयर्स आल्सो व्हिच इज व्हाट आई थॉट वुड नॉट हैपन बट दैट वाज व्हाट हैपन बिकॉज़ व्हेन आई सेड तो आइए अब अगली परफॉर्मेंस एंड आई परफॉर्म एंड आई अनाउंस्ड द परफॉर्मर ऑफ द नाइट हु वाज अ बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस एवरीवन जस्ट अबैंडनड द ब्राइड एंड ग्रूम एंड केप रनिंग टू द स्टेज एंड दोस टू वर लाइक मदरफक Yeah, they're like we all dead people. Haram zado. Hame chhod ke bhag gaye. I was reading this post uh, that your husband had put about you all getting married, right? Where you did like four ceremonies, right? Yes. And the the thing he said was so poignant to me because I just got married recently. He there were there was a function for us, and then there was a function for people who had to be called. Yes. Right. Yes. And I keep thinking about this, right? Like what a weird Game of Thrones royal dance thing, which has no substance, only form. You know, yes. I, I get very obsessed with this spirit versus form. Form. Yeah. Yeah. And we're obsessed with the form. Yeah. We don't. Care about the spirit of the thing. Ki like shadi hai. Let's all come and bless this and witness this one thing. We don't care. Chh 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 chh. Khana chh. It's about finery, huh. dr- dress up. Yes. Kis ne kya pena hai? Acha. Ye to us yeah. shadi mein bhi yehi pen ke aayi thi. Ek hi outfit hai iske paas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love like you know intimate wedding scenes. Even like as you were saying, movies or TV shows inspire us. Yeah. Like I remember as a as a gay young boy, nothing was there for me in Bollywood. Except yeah. like you know there's no idea of romance or how yeah. how normalized it could be until I watched Modern Family. Like people uh... still people still shit on the show now because of like years later it went down. Did it? It was so great. Eleven, nine, tenth, eleventh season were like just like them dying, whatever. That's okay. Yeah. Huh? But like, it's like ten course, seasons in. Yeah. yeah. Every show, like you have some feeling for it when you're growing up. So when when the wedding scene happened for Mitch yeah. and Cam, like I was just like bawling because like what they do in the show episode also is that they build up like they want a perfect wedding, everything is planned and everything, but everything goes Things sideways. Yeah. There's a fire happening in the neighboring area, so they have to vacate. Yeah. Uh, the wedding venue is booked out, so yeah. they can't do anything else. Somebody else is getting married, so they so they finally. Have Have to go to a golf course club where yeah. the father walks him down with like bare minimum. These flowers are like you know <laughs> the, the daughters taking four pe- petals and throwing. But when they come together, it's such an intimate setting because only the people who love them are there. You know, exactly. And those people matter. Yeah. Even Parks and Rec. Yeah. If you see the Leslie Knope and uh, Ben White getting married, they do it in the office only, where they make uh, petals out of uh, yeah, yeah. punch paper, and then they do this. So it's very intimate. It's like yeah. you know, she catches a bunch of pens like a bouquet. Yeah. That's what I like about like these kind of shows, yeah. where where they make wedding more intimate and more yeah. meaningful than just being a, you know, like he sab ke liye. Yeah. But so you know, wow. here's what. So it was really weird because. Uh, again, you know, to each his own, and everyone has their own concept of how they would want their so-called big day to be. Yeah, I think uh, what me and my husband did was that look, this is what we want, so we're going to have that. Yeah, without all the. And refract. what was that? Can you elaborate on what you all so did we, for yourself? So, by birth, we are Hindu and Muslim, mm. and. We didn't want to do any religious ceremonies, so we decided to have a Catholic wedding. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Which is not really a Catholic wedding; only yeah. the outfits were Catholic. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> like the end of Spider-Man too. Yeah, something like that. And then we had uh, our closest friends and family. Mm. Uh, we were not rich and wealthy, so uh, all so our no friends. So no Chandrama and all. No, no. So all <laughs> our friends very sweetly kind of paid their way to the wedding. Oh, lovely. We of course took care of everyone, but. 
we couldn't afford to put people up so that's yeah. true friendship though you have to be like if wedding is happening we'll take care of you at the wedding yeah. but will you come yeah. will and you they came, arrive yeah. and all the and here's the thing i remember on one of the mornings we were sitting and having breakfast and i just looked up and i told danish i said everyone we love and everyone who loves us yeah. is here in this moment with us yeah. yeah and we've never had that again ever since we've been married for 12 years and we constantly keep talking about it that we're lucky we had that one day yeah. or that one moment in time where everyone we loved and who loved us were all there together yeah. in the same place yeah of course having said that i i do understand what you're saying but i also understand from the perspective of family and yes you know the whole spirit and versus form thing mm. uh my mother was very clear she said you do what you want but and you have yeah. to let me celebrate it the way i, I imagined yeah. how my offspring would get married yeah. and all the people who i love and love me should also be there to celebrate my joy plus yeah. plus everybody that knows them plus everybody we've yes. ever worked with yes. plus everybody yes. whose wedding we've ever gone yes, to yes absolutely plus, but plus. it was it's that's how yeah. society works yeah. sadly <laughs> my favorite part was like because my i had two older sisters right so one got married and then for second one we were making the guest list we were my mom was quantifying who gave what <laughs> for the first one <laughs> and if they deserved to come back for the second one it was the best i was like this is true in, middle in class ka, yeah. no no but un, the fact that she had kept a record acha yeah. inhone sirf 1000 rupees de the inko yeah. bhi bulayenge <laughs> There Late was a diary. Diary for rupees, right? Exactly, <laughs> diary for invite list and then diary for what they gave yeah, afterwards also. Yeah. Oh shit! On that note, I should mention my uh, my god sister's uh, wedding, no? Somebody. So it was like a my god parents are pretty famous in in their locality. So like the wedding guest list was massive. Yeah. Like they were like we call four hundred people, but seven hundred people have showed up and. Miraculously, no food was short. Okay, everybody was on the dance floor. Everybody was having a great, great time. Yeah. When the party winds up, when they look where all the gifts are, my god sister's. Envelope thaily, it's gone. Oh <gasps> shit! Okay, the, That's wait, the, worst. the cash one. Somebody's yeah. come, stolen that, and fucked off within all the chaos. I love it. I love it. Ah shit! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's <know>. terrible. Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Me. Or who's in misery? Who's laughing? That's Who's a missing? different word. It doesn't have anything to do with misanthrope. I know. I'll keep throwing it till. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, let's take a small break on Bartala. We'll come back on the second half with more stories. You have more. I was more... gonna talk about my marriage, but okay. Uh, we'll on the other the side, side of this break. How much more, Akash? Honestly. Hey everyone, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On what the hell, Navya? Navya, her mother Shweta Nanda and grandmother Jaya Bachchan. Talk about financial education and independence. On Explain Like I'm Ten, Meghna is joined by YouTuber Prakhar Gupta and IVM content producer Saurabh Sharma. They discuss what is a conversation. On Martha Lab, Akash and Naveen share stories amongst themselves about comedy tours, train rides, and why they love buffaloes. On Cock and Bull, Sarez, Puneet, and Nivedita discuss why a Bappi Lahiri song is going viral in China. And on Pop Rap. Snehil, Antariksh, Harsh, and Meghnath do a roundup of the recent movies they have seen and why the Kannada film Kantara has become a rage at the box office. Do not forget to subscribe to the IVM Pop channel for all the latest episodes. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We have some super cool and exciting stuff for you. Also, do follow us on social media properties. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Also, do remember to spread the word. As you know, it helps a lot. And of course, don't forget to rate and review our shows on whatever platform you're listening to them. You can also check out all our shows on youtube.com/ivmpodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: Bumble, Heads Up for Tales, Kotak Premier League Program, and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you so much for making this possible. Welcome back, second half. I just want to point out what Naveen said at the end of the first half. This motherfucker is supposed to be my best friend, and every time I have some emotional, overwhelming moment, it he gives me three days, okay, to talk about it. Fourth day, he'll be like, "Fuck off, na, we both talk, yeah, na." Yeah, I was I was all ears for three days. After that, my heart was broken. I I I'm sorry. You, I kind of uh, not that I want to lean anywhere near you because I'm not here. Okay. But. Uh, <laughs> Three days is a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> see, see. I'll like... give it three hours. But there's. I'll be like, take three hours to talk about it. Then, after that, we'll never talk about it again. Okay. That's, that's how it was for. A, I had a very bad breakup. Okay. And then I came, uh, and we were in the same city where I got dumped. Okay. I was dumped firstly. Ouch. And it was like somebody. We I were there together I... stuck for ten days. Okay. Yeah. I have to clearly mention this. After that, you yeah. got dumped. Huh. So I I got dumped. Then I had to go for some shit abroad. Then I came back. Then I did a couple of shows and directly went to the city where I was dumped. Yeah, okay. where there was a comedy was. festival. Yeah. So now five days. I I'm I'm really upset. I don't expect Naveen to talk me out of it. 
बट ही वॉज जस्ट लाइक बैंक चो कितना दुखी होगा लाइक यू नो इट वॉज जस्ट दिस लाइक बैंगलोर एंड एवरीथिंग वॉज ग्रेट एक्सेप्ट मी but i knew because i have known all of his exes <laughs> intimately and so has he mine because of how our yeah. friendship works that she was not the girl for him and then he got mad at me for telling him later that i felt that she was not the one for you how can i say in the middle of the relationship that she is the I, wrong girl i tell you always in the no, middle of the relationship it help, no? you, 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 you say that now also but i have been in a four year relationship already yeah. so it's like <laughs> <laughs> but he never had a girlfriend also how would you tell him that's fair that's fair so then <laughs> had boyfriends no yeah, yeah i know i meant it like no but but he's also got that like my boyfriends always have to fight a little bit with akash for territorial space because uh, they don't realize that he is that into my business oh wow but yeah. i am like he's my best friend you <laughs> know yeah. what i mean it's yeah but you know had a really different uh, sort of I, i i don't know there's this very strong bro code which which friends have yeah but uh, guy friends rather mm-hmm. yeah but i this is very unique to hear that someone is so deeply entrenched in another guy friends life that thought boys are yeah. just like because also tu kar yaar bhai main hu na idhar te ko chahiye hoga to main aa jaunga tere jail se nikalne ke liye ya shayad nahi aaunga to jail mein padh lena nahi aaunga to uske bare mein content bana kar comedy show likh dunga ha you can just help a friend out thode aur din bhugat le yeah that that's how me friends that's more me but i'm like oh shit you're in jail oh shit oh i'm so sorry you're in jail after 9 you're in jail oh shit that's what also like that day we were trying to call you in the farm house and i'm like what is akash going to do man <laughs> I was caught by cops recently. Don't ask why. Long story. Long story. Uh, but uh, I think it's Pressy also. Pressy version, not possible. Huh? No, no, no. Oh, oh, then I don't hear the long story. Of the year, of the year, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, the I think it's also with my guy friend relationships. Like I've never had those traditional like oh bro, you my bro. Like wo hai, hum sab aisa. टची फिली एक दूसरे के हाथ में बाल घुमाने वाले लोग हैं यू नो व्हाट आई मीन लाइक वो मैस्कुलिन टॉक्सिकनेस नहीं पसंद है दैट्स नाइस हां सो लाइक फॉर माय वाइफ इट्स वेरी वियर्ड बिकॉज़ यू नो दैट शी इज यूज्ड टू पीपल हैविंग लाइक ब्रो ब्रो रिलेशनशिप बट इट्स अ लाइक इंटीमेट टची फिली आई लव यू रिलेशनशिप विद एवरी वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स यू नो स्पेशली द गाय फ्रेंड्स दैट्स अ दैट्स अ आई हैव टू से इट्स अ इट्स अ इट्स अ रेयर वन आई हैव नॉट हर्ड इट्स अ वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली आल्सो बिकॉज़ आवर फ्रेंडशिप इज वेरी नो जजमेंट जोन बिकॉज़ लाइक वी बोथ लाइक वी आई कीप सेइंग दिस ओवर डिफरेंट एपिसोड्स ऑफ द शो दैट वी बॉन्डेड ओवर डिप्रेशन लाइक वी आर कॉमेडियंस हु लिटरली हैड द वर्स्ट डिप्रेशन स्पेस व्हेन वी वर interacting with each other yeah. so it just like that became easier to talk to so when whatever fucked up came after that was not that it was never as yeah. worse as what we were going through in our heads yeah, at that in point in early 20s so to say yeah. so like now so talking one second just to, to to just stop here if you guys yeah. are comfortable what were you all depressed about so i have depression like proper wala where I'm my but yeah. my bra- brain can't absorb the chemicals or produce them in right amount so i get serotonin yeah so so it's like uh, proper don't you take like, medication for no that? i don't because it really fucks me up Uh, oh. Yeah, it like just completely makes me very docile and no edge and can't do any work. For serotonin, really? Huh? Yeah. Because just serotonin enhancers. All they do is just open up your. I've tried like three different regimes over the last five seven years, and okay. uh, the first one uh, made me more depressed. Then they gave me some antidepressant, which by the which way, which are the which are the scary ones? Huh? And the antidepressants are the worst because like their side effect is that you feel suicidal. Yeah. Oh you know, <laughs> and for a person who already feels suicidal, I don't think it's like a extra th- weight I want on my. body but then i started doing therapy which sort of cbt really changed the way my brain works and how i work with my brain and how i treat my own illness and okay. yeah, but it was a it was a long journey to get to that level of comfort right so but during that time what overwhelmingly all of us feel when we're depressed is ki nobody else feels this way yeah and that's when it helps to be oh you also want to kill yourself you know and then we both know that the reasons are not reasons the reason is the illness right yeah, but yeah. the the stuff that's coming into your so brain you've been able to, be... to see it from a distance yeah. now yeah. and it helps to have somebody because it first i saw it in him and he probably saw it in me ki oh the illness is different and the person is different yeah. Yeah. and then you start making that distinction in yourself so it really helps okay and 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 you for me it was mostly because i had quit engineering to follow this <laughs> so it was like i would look at that as a reason for being happy yeah. no but then my <laughs> but family was not right like they put all the money and efforts like i'm the only son right my two older sisters got married and all so my father who's like a first generation migrant from karnataka to bombay his whole aspiration was that my son will sort us out you know all these struggles from chol we moved to a 
flat in by and then whatever like, like life will bring something hmm. but our son will be the the main rescue item you know <laughs> and i was good at studies i was very good at like maths and well, not maths but like in in general studies i was very good maths is horrible don't, nobody's good at maths <laughs> nobody's good at maths. and if anyone's good at maths they never say it yeah, <laughs> yeah. people only talk about how bad they're at maths yeah. me included <laughs> exactly derivatives integration what the fuck i had, i used to have like proper nightmares with division because the the division long division thing would open up and turn into a nose and all oh wow oh, yeah, it was like fully crazy wow. but anyways so they put all the aspirations on me so i became an engineer just for their happiness and immediately after that i quit and became a writer and got into comedy so you are an engineer yeah i'm a first class By telecom engineer degree holder yeah oh yeah. wow yeah yeah, yeah. but my my last yeah engineering kiya hai maine law kiya hai yeah आप लॉयर हैं वाह भाई बट यू वी आर डूइंग दिस बट यू नो इट्स अमेजिंग आई 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 रियली थिंक दैट दिस इज वन थिंग दैट माय हस्बैंड एंड आई कीप ट्राइंग टू टेल आवर डॉटर दैट व्हाइल वी थिंक शी इज अ ह्यूजली एंटाइटल्ड चाइल्ड बिकॉज़ दैट्स जस्ट हर जनरेशन एंड वी आर पार्टली टू ब्लेम फॉर इट द वन थिंग वी कीप टेलिंग हर इज दैट यू कैन लिटरली बी व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू बी या दैट्स द बेस्ट दिस इज one of the greatest times to be alive in yeah. a in a different way yeah. in a different way is the worst time <laughs> to be alive yeah. but in terms of the fact that at no point have we ever tried to even imagine the only thing we keep telling our beta hame yahan se nikal lo andheri se andheri so i thought you meant india se or something but andheri, andheri is enough for you andheri se amsterdam main abhi abhi hamara jo ghar ke bahar metro ban raha hai that says we are in lower oshiwara oh shit oh shit That's like <laughs> like I was really hoping something would become ki chalo yaar lower juhu bana do ye lower oshi wala kya hota hai but yeah, yeah that that's where yeah. we are but okay co- coming back to 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 depression and the reason yeah. why I'm discussing this is because I've actually spent the last 2 years studying and uh uh I I'm currently studying to get certified as an art based therapist therapy oh, nice. practitioner nice. so no not a therapist because I don't have a psychology major oh yeah but uh I did do uh I I I I started off studying the science of well-being which was a a Yale program which nice. was just offline just when the pandemic hit nice yeah and uh, I had been working and you know we all have this I don't know I don't know if everyone has it but I always have this constant question saying okay where does all this lead us to I'm, yeah, I'm very course. fascinated by the human experience mm. that you know the fact that life is experienced in so many different ways and yeah. all of us think our way is the only way whereas it is not and uh, i i my, the whole reason was to find out okay why is this so called thing called happiness so elusive ke mm. hame bolte rehte hain log na you do this you'll be happy you do that you'll be happy yeah. you'll take this you'll be happy but never comes some yeah. it never comes so yeah. i started doing that and it was a very interesting course about this thing called hedonistic adaptation which is something that our brain does mm-hmm. where it adapts itself to pleasure so then it needs to be reset More, yeah. over mm. and over and over again and that's why you go from buying you know uh, uh one outfit at zara to the entire sale to one designer bag <laughs> to the next and a big car and a bigger car and it's all hedonistic Never adaptation happened, and yeah. the brain keeps forgetting which yeah. is the nature of the human brain yeah. that yeah. as we age it's just forgetting more and more things and post that i did something very interesting called um, i did a certification in buddhist psychology Nice. which i would highly recommend mm-hmm. to every single person and anyone who is in any way confronted with mental illness should most definitely try and do it it's an offline course mm-hmm. now it's offline then it was online but <laughs> it will it just gives you such a wonderful perspective about yeah. the human experience yeah. and how much of it gets adulterated by the thing called the ego Yeah, which is yeah. the one thing that gets in the way all the time. That's what. Yeah. So I've I, I've studied a bit of Buddhism myself uh, through Vipassana and. Oh, that's amazing! I, yeah, wow. I, I did the entire thing. And so I don't have the guts to do Vipassana yeah, yet. Yeah, it changed my life, and I keep saying this on the podcast yes. <laughs> again. No, it no, my life too. no, no! Fucking keep talking about the same <laughs> fucking shit. No. But he's talking about nice, inspiring did, things now. Did, did like my marriage was not nice and inspiring. Oh God, oh, we're still not in marriage. Acha, tell me. Tell me about your wedding. Let's pause for a second. Tell me about your wedding. No, no, come on now. Oh, forget it. Come on. पता दे पता your wife was dancing bum to bum next to me in 2 days ago so like you know yeah, that's true. I've, t- i've accepted your marriage in all aspects <laughs> if i'm bum dancing with your wife <laughs> while she was looking like a hooker because it was it was the halloween costume she was wearing from leon the professional 
it's okay guys she, she, i'm not here i'm on a call friends. she would love this thing she she, would, she, would laugh she was so messed up that she would love this thing i'm on a call i'm on a call okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry awaaz nahi aa rahi hello 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 ha batao nahi nahi mera want to hear about his marriage tell us fast nothing i was bullet points tell me about your marriage in five points just just you know it's it's not how what i have to say it's how you have to hear it and you can't hear it the way you have to hear it this entire so episode it, of just that, that is, yeah. i'm not coming back for another episode guys <laughs> <laughs> tell <think>. me fast <laughs> you know how you had that moment at breakfast where everyone you loved was there that's the moment i had when i was walking into the marriage hall and, and i got so happy that my parents thought that i was high on drugs or something because maybe your serotonin receptors open up because i've never seen me that happy okay that's kind of sweet yeah, yeah. yeah it but it's too easy. late now the moment has passed Oh, he still enjoyed it. No, I didn't. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> We enjoyed. Oh, he was happy. Like I saw him go through that entire uh, process, like process in real time, right? Like yeah. when he was very happy going into it. Barat came, came, mother-in-law came, gave him something, and he was like, yeah. <laughs> Then they went up, and he was like, yeah. <laughs> they sat down on the mandap. He was like, yeah. <laughs> Then he saw the rest of his family pour in, and he was like, oh fuck, <laughs> these people, <laughs> these people have come with their some uncle is just like with fucking pani puri in the middle of the room, just like. <laughs> He got four pani puris in one plate and he's eating it. It's just like that. My okay. own family was kind of missing. Okay, they all sat for dinner. So, yeah, so. during his peras, his family, all only friends of us, we we all there and his family. I'm the... sorry, guys. Nothing gets in the way of me and food, so yeah. I get it. You have to do marriage. You have to do it. I have to eat. I'm eating food. Yeah. It's very simple. Your swaha. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two things. Yeah. You have three more things to tell no, me no, about your marriage. No, 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 no. I want to hear three more no, things. Tell me something about it. What does your wife do? Why are you turning this into class now? What is your wife? <laughs> she's been she's been learning for two years. Yeah, yeah. I'm training to become a teacher. Yeah. She's a writer. She she writes shows and stuff, OTT stuff. Ooh, yeah. very interesting. Yeah, yeah. she's she used to be a producer. Now she's a she was into development work. Okay. Does, which is actually very fun because when your wife is actually like comedy is not a real thing. You know what I mean? Like it's a real thing, but it's not a real thing. A lot of my days just like uh, staring into <laughs> fucking nothing and like. Yeah. I say I'm that, absorbing, but yeah, I'm yeah, but you know not. this. I'm sorry. This whole thing of being productive is also a very, very man-made Sort capitalist yeah, bullshit, bullshit thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. Yeah. sitting and reading a book is just as productive as sitting and writing a fucking show. I'm Absolutely. sorry. Absolutely, it's how I, I want to add value to my life. No, I also think there's like uh, the idea of just fucking not doing anything yes, is undervalued. Yes, you know. So there is a whole practice that one has to do as an art-based therapist, which is called sitting, just sitting. Yeah. It's how you start getting into meditation. Yeah. To be able to just fucking sit, no, it's a super power that you have to slowly, slowly inculcate. Yeah. Because the ability to just sit and do nothing. Yeah. Fucks with our mind so much yeah. because we've been trained to look at ourselves as commodities, right? I'm here. I have a brain. I should think. I should write. I should be doing something where I'm adding value to the world, and but I forget not, to add yeah. value to myself. Yeah. And the value that we're adding, what the fuck is that value yeah, really? Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's somebody's 15 seconds of a reel. Like, yeah. I don't think that's changing your life. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and and yeah. and it's really weird when you're talking about reels. Yeah. I don't think there is anything that I. Do more reluctantly than reels, than reels, than just social media, man. Welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh fuck, I have to post shit. What do I write yeah. about? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, some cables, yeah. <laughs> and some person is actually going to see that and yeah. absorb this shit. Yeah. yeah. And I feel pathetic, but I'm like, what am I giving to the world? Cables. Yeah. And it's now a uh, uh, another added pressure of being productive, right? Yeah. You and Salman Khan both actually oh, cables, no. <laughs> He's selling wires, man. Like no, no, he he takes photos of monkeys also. ये तोता है. Yeah. ये रख रो. But I'm saying that's what it is, that's right? For, that's yeah. for the fan base that's following him. It makes sense. He doesn't. Yeah. They don't know what things are. You know, they're like, oh, <laughs> it's what a fly looks like. <laughs> Like, oh, boy, <laughs> 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 grammar GK. <laughs> But, you know, it's like it's this bit. Okay, I do this bit. Keep, we are the like uh, I am 30 now almost, and he's over 30, and you're a little also over 30. You <laughs> who would have thought? Okay, right? so yeah, I, I have a little secret to tell you. I'm yeah. Actually, just. You know, it doesn't matter because it's even okay. if you're so over forty, you're still over thirty. Eighteen years old. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah. you know, you'll always be a Sabrina. So hey, my mom still says she's twenty-seven. Uh, so yeah. uh, what is with this age thing? <laughs> Huh? What you know, is with this funny? Thing. Why is twenty-seven this coveted <laughs> age yeah. that everybody wants Because to that's be? Because that's where that's where everybody yeah. suicides. So <laughs> dumb and stupid that's at fucking twenty-seven. Yeah. So when oh. uh, when like uh, it's when Janis Joplin died, 
Richard Robinson died. Oh, lot of them died. Lot of died. At Kurt 27. Cobain. The 27 club. 27 Jim Morrison. Club. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix. 33. Jim Morrison was 33? I think. Oh, no, Jim no. Morrison was 27. 27? Was oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Jim Morrison was 27. All of them were 27. Oh, no, no. Uh, Christ was 33. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, confuse them sometimes, you know. One is a door, one builds a door, you know. <laughs> He's a carpenter. So how do we know? <laughs> <laughs> one built the other. Yeah. <laughs> one overdose. One. Oh, okay, 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 okay. One overcrossed. I had to. I had to forget what we were talking about. Only. Jesus, <laughs> our Lord and Savior. Do you want some of him in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Salman Khan. We were talking about Salman Khan. Well, we were talking about. Country. We were talking about being Cables. reluctant. Yeah. yeah. Social media. Yeah, I, I was users. thinking this is the this generation now that's creating things. They're the first generation where you don't actually have to be good at anything in order to be famous. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. just have to do the right steps that the yeah. algorithm tells you to do. Yeah. Just thrive. For yeah. our generation, we actually found a thing and we fucking worked so long to get really good at that thing. And now they're like, "Ha, par tu khane mein kya khara hai? Wo to bata." Exactly. So <laughs> there's a really funny thing I remember again amongst all the humiliating experiences that I've had. One another one that kind of tops the charts i'd gone to do a photo feature for a magazine and uh, uh, i i walked into a room where i didn't recognize anybody and uh, for the first time i walked into a room where nobody recognized me either so nice, it was quite lovely, nice yeah. i was yeah. like okay so no no sharara <laughs> fans <laughs> all right let's get, get let's get used to this as yeah. well and i was sitting and uh, the whole feature was i had once spoken too much that i shouldn't have on social media which okay. landed me into a lot of trouble and it has been kept it has kept me in trouble ever since okay. so for being brave i was called oh yeah. nice i want to get yeah. to that at some point i love point that i love that i love that i was brave because i just spoke <laughs> but yeah. okay or well, acts of valor these days i tell you yeah yeah, yeah. you don't need to fight it right yeah, not, 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 not much comes from andheri brave brave fuck you like. <laughs> so i was sitting there and uh, this girl she looks at me and uh, It was really weird because I I have been doing this for 20 years yeah. and suddenly I was sitting in a room feeling really lost. Mm. So I was sitting reading my book and this girl leans up and she was like, "Hi." So I said, "Okay, chalo one friendly face." And I said, "Hi, whatever." She was like, "I'm so and so." I was like, "Okay, hi." And she was like, "Uh, and you are?" She said, "I'm Shruti." "Oh, so what do you do?" <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Uh, I guess it's not important if you don't know. For 15 minutes pehle to paida hui thi wo." "Wohi to." So I said, "Okay, uh, oh, um uh, Well, actually, I I I am an actor. And she was like, no, but like, what's your real job? <laughs> I was like, fucker, oh, this is a photo real shoot, job. Photo shoot पे ये कैसे हो रहा है? I said, yeah. social media is not a real job. तो real बना रहे हो job नहीं है कोई पैसे नहीं दे रहा उसे. मैंने actually काम किया है. No, she was not in the social media team. Then she was, she was one of the influencers. Oh, and she then, is social media. Yeah. And then the funny part was that the magazine people came and I was like, "Hi, I'm like, listen, please, can you introduce me to everybody? I don't know who they are." Yeah. And she was like, "Oh, so so and so is this influencer, that influencer, blah blah blah." So I said, "Okay, let's do some research." And I went to their profiles and then I looked at them and I looked at the profile. And I'm like, "Fuck, these people could have anyone fooled. They don't look anything like their bloody profiles." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's all filters. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, lies, yeah, yeah. So I was like, "Didi, sorry, but ye aap to nahi hai." Who are you? <laughs> what do you want? What do you, you really? Who are you really? I was like, "This is not you. You're not looking like this." And yeah. she was like, "Wait." And then she went in. And then she did her thing, and yeah. then she came out, and then she looked like that. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm an influencer. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I was just like, oh, I said, please, when you write about me, do not write social media influencer. Yeah, please fuck. write my real job, <laughs> which is acting. Because even if tomorrow that cloud falls from the sky, yeah. I'll still have a job. Yeah. Unlike these guys. Yeah. If if Instagram has a fuck up and half the accounts get deleted, which is what happened people... last night. Last night, I was. Well, last night, Instagram has crashed. Yeah. And oh. they have arbitrarily just. Gone in accounts, disabled yeah. accounts. That's so, hilarious. Follow accounts are fluctuating, all of that. That's yeah. hilarious. मेरे तो बड़े हैं बस. अरे वाह. तो मेरे तेरे पास चले गए. सब तेरे को मिल गए. मेरे सब काम हुए तेरे पास चले गए. मेरे सौ लोग बड़े. Tell me your man story. मेरे मेरे भी ऐसे सौ लोग ही गए. मैं उनको बोलता हूँ बच्चों घर चले जाओ वापस क्या कर रहे हो. दीदी के पास. No, but uh, one point you really raised and before we end the podcast, I think it's really important because uh, what you were you were actively like calling out. the powers that be when the cnr thing started right yes uh, where did that inspiration come from because like many of your peers just shut the fuck up they were just like taking photo ops rather than talk about it so so you know okay i want to just quickly put in a word about my peers and all of us who speak and i don't think we're doing anything brave we're just speaking we're just trying to you know reason with people or mm. just bring minds to logic yeah. as opposed yeah. to emotions and being you know like really, up, yeah, yeah. The whole idea is saying, guys, just look at 
look at what it is for what it is and not for what you are and what other people would like you to see it for no. yeah. just see it for what it is it's just that's the truth i have to say that uh i have i never thought i would come to this point but i have almost shut down my twitter account i yeah. don't speak on twitter anymore mm. not for anything else uh, i think because of my buddhist training and my art based therapy the one thing that i learned is that i have to keep my mind clear Yeah. at all times and all it does is just it keeps on adding fog to your brain which yeah. you don't need and it ha- the nature of it is to rile you up and for it to try and somehow arrest your brain yeah. and make you do stupid shit which you wouldn't normally do yeah. so to keep a clear head you need to just stay away from that crap yeah uh and i think what really matters and what i learned from a very dear friend of mine in fact uh i remember talking to her and she said should the i look at my mind as a temple what i consume is are my choices yeah. Yeah. if i'm going to go into a gutter and say i'm getting splashed with yeah. slime i'm going there willingly yeah. i have the choice to stay away i would much rather use my time and effort in doing some real life change yeah. than going and fighting proxy wars on social media which is all eventually when you realize it's an algorithm just messing with no, you yeah, it's just, an echo it's chamber like, one's and zeros it's like what 1% of the country's population exactly yeah. exactly so while yes there are a lot of people who walk up and say man you know thanks for being brave and i'm like firstly can we stop making it sound like i'm doing something that but is but the goal post has shifted right do you do you realize like yeah. like just the, the basic fear, conversation the fear of it all, right yes. like yeah. just like i'll lose everything if i speak up right now is yeah. is what the uh, temperature has been for a while yes. yeah. and and we as actively you know traveling comics or whatever we see around the country the landscapes change the lot yeah. like anything you say right now can get you in trouble yes and, yeah. and it, even is. not saying anything can get you into trouble exactly. that's how fucked yeah. up things are i think we're now approaching the point where your active support of the regime is going to come into question we're right now at the point where dissent is coming into question but in by the next election it's going to be uh, why aren't you more openly supporting these people yes so yes. Uh, until that i guess yeah. you know so we all yeah. just you know again just coming back to the fact that how can each one of us make even so there's a beautiful i since you have studied buddhism the one oath that you take when you study buddhism is that suffering is a part of human life yeah. and human nature and all you will do every day is try and reduce someone else's suffering yeah in the smallest tiniest way possible yeah and the moment you make that your go to you just start seeing okay i i'm going to add value to the world it does not have to be on any social media channel hmm. i will do it on my own i can see that in this moment the fact that three of us have sat we've had a good laugh our suffering has been reduced my job yeah. here is done yeah. Yeah. And, and hopefully yours also we'll we'll go Sitting home and rich home. also <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying not me i'm not going to get paid i'm doing this for free so for the we, joy the of way, sitting with you guys if i we are also not getting paid uh, either but and i'm not even here i'm you, like doing this on a phone call and i'm spending you, money on the you call got, you got paid in stories you realize so you that somebody yeah. like met this yeah. horrible gay person who wanted to keep even happy that's a take away okay number one i don't think you're horrible That's okay. I, I think I'm horrible. So what do you say? That's your matter. that's your opinion. He's and horrible after the third day of a tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> When he doesn't want to hear about Marco, it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to you to leave without at least one Sharalat story. Yeah. Because I feel like there has to be one. Oh shit. How can we leave yeah. without one Sharalat? Farida Charalat Jalal is so amazing. Okay, so Farida she? Jalal is so amazing. Yeah. She okay. is just the yeah. best thing ever. I thought there was a twist coming. She is such a. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. So she's like she's she's a second mum to me, and I have to say that it's weird. You know, whenever I start talking about Charara, I get like really emotional, and then I want to start crying because it's so okay. We can all cry together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember all of us. It was very funny because uh, Zanina Metta one day came to me, and she was just the cutest producer, and she had. the way sharara happened i'm going to tell you guys very quickly mm-hmm. take your time she just take called me and she was like hi i'm going to i'm trying to make the show called have you have you seen sabrina the teenage witch said yeah i'm trying to make an indian version of that and you're sabrina and i was like uh, okay so <laughs> i'm going to call you back when everything is set up <laughs> and then for two years she just disappeared on me so for two years i was like i'm going to be sabrina yeah. <laughs> not going to teenage witch anymore <laughs> obviously yeah. two years later she came back she was like ha huh, so we good to go and i have finalized the grandmother so it's a mix of sabrina and bewitched and your grandmother is going to be farida jalal Oof. and i was like yo yeah. this was what the wait and 
we started shooting with the most handsome director in the whole world called Rajiv Mehra who looks like George Lucas and he is like this super so cool he's yeah, he's the yeah. super cool guy okay he's just like he wears white shirts and beige pants as his uniform he hates working hard which is amazing yeah. so he would come we'd shoot three cameras one scene one shot mm. yeah. so the only thing that we needed to do was to know our scripts that's mm. all he ever cared about and luckily for me because i'm a a, a product of the indian education system yeah. and since rote right. learning yeah, yeah. and i was so good at it which i still am that when i read a script i just remember it mm. as photographic memory i'm being very boastful but it is the truth i remember being the naughtiest person on set and i used to get all the other kids as in all my peers up to all the antics they'd get fired by the director and i would walk away clean because i always knew my lines yeah and not just my lines i knew everyone's lines <laughs> so if anyone would forget i'd be like that's not your line this yeah, is your I'll line i'll play bottles Th- that this yes. person and that person that's the real jadoo that she was doing in so the so farida yeah. ji yeah. used to sit next to me and nudge me say mere line kya hai line kya hai line kya <laughs> so i used to learn my lines and her lines <laughs> not because i wanted to but that's just how yeah. my bloody brain works yeah. so i was the prompter on set yeah. and Rajiv Mehra would always tell me you are such a crafty little witch because yeah. I know what you're up to but you know that the only thing I care about is you knowing your lines and that's why you get away and everyone else gets into trouble yeah. nice so I used to do that a lot on set and Farida ji used to bring food for all of us like a mama bear <laughs> and feed us every day and i would crib and complain and all my woes i would go and sit and be like farida ji bahut ghante ho gaye from then till today she calls me tum thuddi upar karke baithi karo so my chain should have said thuddi upar karke baith jao because i was constantly complaining <laughs> and i think what i miss the most on days when i'm sitting on sets and i'm feeling like that i have nobody anymore to sit there and put that little mama balm on me to mm. make the day lighter mm. and i think that's the one thing i miss most about shararat and i remember the first show that i went on after shararat shut down i played a i played a character that went blind because she hit the mandir wow <laughs> it was called man mein hai vishwas and i was a bhaktan as oh, they call sure. it wow. and i had uh, i think 40 changes 40 sarees mm. and uh, i remember i was like me itne kapde kyu badal rahi hu mm. and they were like me andhi ho i said me andhi ho mujhe sare matching kapde kaise mil rahe tu mandi ho baki log ko dekh sakte na par yeah so i'm not going to say the exact word but one of the ads on that set said ma'am ye tv hai agar भी होगा तो साड़ी मस्त होनी चाहिए एंड दैट डे आई न्यू दैट्स इट दिस इज द फुल स्टॉप एंड फ्रॉम हियर एवरीथिंग इज जस्ट गोइंग टू बी just no like diving. it's it's like i feel like no matter how much you love doing something you have to treat it like a day job which is something that you don't like doing but you have to do yeah. was the comedy circus era also like that i feel like that would have been a more casual but cringe fest for you also like <laughs> no so a, comedy circus i have to say everyone was amazing yeah. and it was yes while a lot of things were not so woke and you know we did what we did but humor is very important that like you said it doesn't need to respect anybody yeah humor should not respect anyone and everyone should be able to take a bloody joke yeah, yeah. i think it's very important and yes the whole thing about punching down punching up all those parameters yet one has to know it is said in jest exactly yeah, yeah. it has to be i can't believe like it's reiterated thing. yeah uh no <laughs> it's been reiterated so many times yeah. so i will not say that uh, there were times when i'd be like uncomfortable saying kya bol rahe hain but that's my discomfort is my problem yeah it's not the comedian's like problem like it's also like you have to be a professional at some point right so you have to wear that hat and you have to no no i'm not that i'm just saying that just as a viewer even yeah. my discomfort is my problem it's not your problem yeah. because if you start asking each person what's making them uncomfortable you'll never write a bloody set yeah because yeah. everyone's is, uncomfortable about something it's across countries like in the european even Everywhere. like in the slavic countries and all the, the local tv comedy show is something that is going to be a little more kosher appealing to the yes, masses yes of course and the masses strong to it for that reason there's yeah. a reason we have an old comedy scene Yes. So come out of your houses and see us because we yeah. want to respect comedy. That's where it's happening. Yeah. If you want to see, you know, like men dancing in sarees, that's that's a good avenue for you to yeah. check out. You know, if you should need a punchline reminder, that tongue, that what happens, then there's scope for you. <laughs> But also. I think it's also 
uh, I think poignant right now to talk. like there was this case study that Malcolm Gladwell did about Will and Grace and Orange is the New Black. Okay, yeah. now mm-hmm. both of those were written by siblings. By the way, I don't know if you know oh, that. Oh wow. Okay. Um, but he talks about the journey of Will and Grace and how many compromises they made along the way to to, to show a gay character on screen. Yeah. And then they talk about Orange is the New Black, where there are no compromises because it's Netflix. Yes. And he's like the massier thing is more likely to move the right winger towards the center. Yes. Than the niche thing that, that the right winger will never watch. So I always say this that things have to be made palatable to a larger section yeah. so that more people can be educated yeah. because if you it's it's like me saying hey man thappad tu dekh aise hona chahiye the next time you'll be like i don't want to be around this woman dude she fucking saps me yeah. Yeah. but if i nudge you gently and say listen why don't you have a look at this it might change your mind you will be more amenable to doing it so yes while it is very kosher and the old scene is there for the slightly hardened toughened ones yeah i think both are really important in moving people's sensibility yeah one way or another towards the center <laughs> not no, one I mean, way or the other let's used, keep people it, it centri- gets used both ways right like it it's gets like used my, both ways my my least favorite <coughs> word in the corporate structure is we align on this yeah <laughs> let's, let's align on this left and right hat pair pakad ke don't you love verticals i love that oh, word sh- i'm from a different vertical uh-huh. i'm like what the fuck is that it's like mera mera jhad alag ukta hai <laughs> on that note yeah, uh, thank you so, so much. much thank you so much ruti guys for like, for joining us uh, uh, on the phone te- telephonically on, on the telephone from Tele- kashmir <laughs> telephonically uh, you know this is going to be on youtube right it's going to be on youtube fully <laughs> there's going to be reels there's going to be social media around this you can't run away from this fuck you guys <laughs> <laughs> and this on is that how we make our way into your heart you know like roots is yeah. it yeah <laughs> like okay. roots around a water pipe let me pipe. stop you right there it's going no way near my heart i can promise you <laughs> that's okay fart is also fine yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like before we wind up the show quickly uh, uh, rip to leslie jordan we mentioned villain grace yeah absolutely one of my favorite superstars uh, queer icon yeah. little man adorable passed away uh, rip rest in peace yeah. rest in no? peace chalo yeah good people are dying and yeah. terrible ones are alive That's navin is house of norona i am kuch bhi mehta do you have a handle you want to share does it matter uh, yeah i'm um, yeah? shoot to kill yeah shoot to kill nice see yeah. you next week to kill a mockingbird 